Welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy V. Last time we had found a, a little town, we got our submarine, and we sort of wandered around a bit looking for anywhere we could go, and found a little town sort of isolated that led to a forest that we can't get, that I know we can't really get to yet. Uh, and really we were sort of doing some basic exploration. Now we're going for what we're actually supposed to be doing with the submarine, which is going into the cave where the island was that sank. So if you remember, I see, well, on the surface, this is where that island was that sank into the ocean when we tried to land on it because the sage was there. So now we're going to hop down below the surface and see what happens down here. There should be a couple of monsters to learn in this cave, so... Guido's Cave. I'll wander around for just a second, see what we can find. Dark Aspic. Okay, so far so good. Ouch, that could be bad. Okay, Lena, that's useless. Barts, thank you very much. Doing the heavy lifting there. Yeah, it's just gonna skip straight to Barts. Alright, so there's one of the two we need. There's one more, and he has a blue magic to teach me as well, so I have learn on both Galif and Ferris. Okay, Gaia works really well on those that type of fight, apparently. Titan, you know. Come on. Maybe they're in the next part of the cave. Gotta be secret passages around here somewhere. I mean, other than that one. No, really? Weird. Ah, here we go. Of course it's the back attack. Um... You just became Ifrit. Is that allowed? the thing I need to learn. Wrong direction. Okay, learned Aroga, at least. That's nice. Alright, that's all I needed to learn here, so let's swap you back to something useful. That'd be nice. Okay, I think I remember that like each yeah, each chest is gonna open a different door, I think. Oh, I have to undo it to undo. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, okay, that closed that door, so now I don't know which one's gonna do which, so. Okay, this seems like a good one to have gone to first. Okay, so I'm assuming the one on the right is going to be the other one that was just that was closed off from that. That would seem to make sense, but that doesn't mean anything. So let's try 
to not open the one on the far right. Okay, tre no treasure, okay. Okay, so I think the one I want is the one that's right above the chests. above me, I think, is the one I want. Yes, okay, there we go. Right, so I mostly pick things in the right order. Technically, only one false start. Uh... Okay, Secret Passage helps, I assume. Okay. Okay, yeah, this should, okay. That makes sense, simple enough. Okay. Seems pretty straightforward. Helps when there's no treasures to find. It does make you wonder, though, if we had go gone into the place when it was still above water, would we have to go through all this crap? Or is it just because we're entering in some sort of weird subterranean entrance that all of a sudden we have to fight all these things? Because it seemed like it was going to be a pretty straightforward straight shot, but no. Hey, it's a turtle! Well, obviously, I think yes has to be the answer. Unless we drown now. Gator's cave. All right. Huh? What's up with this turtle? But Bart, stop that! Don't be mean to turtles. Bart, you're a jerk. But it's fun. Poke, poke, poke. Would you quit that? Well, I'll be a biscuit eater. It's a talking turtle. Sage, I I'm so sorry. Please forgive my brainless companion. Wait, this turtle is the sage by the briny beard of Neptune. And you finally catch a clue. Tarnation, I can't take you anywhere. It's all right, it's all right. No lasting damage, physically, anyhow. Oh, man, I I'm awfully sorry. You should be, boy, picking on defenseless turtles. However, we have more important things to discuss. You mean X-Death? So, you aren't as slow as you look. What the Warlock seeks is within the Great Forest of Moor. The Forest of Moor? Trees, my dear boy, lots of them, sprawling to the west of Sergate. That sentient forest is X-Death's birthplace. Hmm? A certain tree in that forest had been used to seal away evil spirits for years. But five hundred years ago, the sheer concentration of malevolence turned that tree into a dark being with a mind of its own. That being is X-Death. I maintained the seal upon him for five centuries. However, thirty years ago, the seal was broken. Thirty years ago, but that's when the Dawn Warriors... He fought the Dawn Warriors. Yes, but don't interrupt. 
Dorgan and the others fought hard, especially finally they were able to seal the warlock with the crystals. However, somehow, he escaped. That was our fault. Aren't we feeling self-important, taking the blame, hmm? Had I meant it was your fault, I would have said that. Seals are meant to be broken. It only means that this time, X-Death must be destroyed. Where is he? En route to the forest of Moria, in all likelihood. I was at Moria. Something, exactly what, I do not know, so don't ask, rests within the forest that he wishes to claim. The forest of Moor. There's got to be more to it than that. Forest of Moor. This is my chance to avenge the Zat. We'll defeat X Death. Let's do it. The Forest of Moor is sentient. It does not take kindly to intruders, and it will attack all who attempt to enter. Take this with you. Guardian Branch, which apparently Guido was keeping inside his shell. That's why he had to retreat in really fast to get it. He has pockets in there. What is it? A branch from the Guardian Tree that protects the seals. With that branch, you may enter the forest. Now hurry. X-Death is already on his way to Moor. He may even be there already. Right. I hate to beg, but I will. Please go to the Great Forest, find that which x seeks, and protect it. Make sure there's nothing else back there. Whee! Cannonball! Okay, now I'll meet you back out in the sub. Okay, here we are at the back of the sub. I'm just going to pop in and heal, and then we're headed right back actually where we ended up last time, which was at that uh, little village with the giant forest next to it, conveniently enough. Probably could have saved some time and gone there after doing this, but I did not remember that part that we were going there next. So, I will meet you there in just a second. Okay, here we go. We are headed to the giant forest here. After we save, of course. Okay. Oh, goody. Lots of stuff to... 12 chests, and we have limited visibility. Fantastic. Okay. Gala jellies. Mini magicians, as opposed to apparently tiny mages from FF4. Is there a tat? Is that any good? Apparently not good enough. How good's the mage masher in here? That might be actually be useful. Not like Lena's going to be doing damage with her dagger anyway, but if I can get a secondary effect on those things, that might be useful. Hello. Look, the Guardian Branch, it's... Well, now it's doing something. See my stick? See my stick of power? Let me in. The forest. It's letting us in. Thank you, forest. Do I have blue? I don't have learn on right now. Let's see. There's just something. Those oh, those little mini things that we've seen. They teach Lilliputian lyric. Do I own that one yet? Do I have Lilliputian? What you want to call it? No. Okay. Uh, ability. You back to learn. Hey. 
And might as well do her learn as well for the moment. I'm not, I don't need the healing magic just yet. This is going to be fun to explore. Oh, big trees. That's not what I need. I need Lilliputian Lyric. Not Osmos. I need my magic, you jerk. Stop that! There we go. No, use it against the correct person, please. Nope, still no. Still no. Really? You have to steal my magic to use it on me, I assume? You're using it on the right person, but I assume I'm not gonna actually learn it unless it affects me. I may be leaving to go restore my magic at this rate. Oh, 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 wrong, wrong person. That's Osmos. Come on. Oh, oh, yes, there! Now we can kill them. Okay, I'm gonna go rest in my submarine, since I'm still pretty close to the entrance here, and get all of my magic back to those little tiny things took from me, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. That was annoying, but necessary, probably, because I think I need my magic here. I mean, certainly not out of a good start. Alright, so money, always useful. Let's see. Ah, okay, yeah, this would be useful if I actually looked around for stuff. Okay, ah, I see. Okay, so the hole in that tree right there, that one we have to interact with it, and that'll open up paths within the forest, if I remember right. Either that or take us to another part in a tunnel or something. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Obnoxious little things. Alright, here we go. Ah, okay. Now we should be up here. Okay, so um, I don't know where we're going. Chest up there, chest on the left. I guess we're gonna go up that way. Right. I really don't want to have to wander around and farm for a critter, but there's one thing that's only available for a limited time in this area, so I gotta make sure I get it before events happen. Oh, you're done learning things. Okay. Man, frickin' tiny mages, man. Alright, so one chest left in this pair part. I think I recognize the point of no return in this area when, before I get there, but I will be uh, quick saving every now and then here. Case in point. 
I'm also really hoping there's a tent somewhere to replace all this magic mid-dungeon, because... Friggin' tent? Okay, I think we're good. Oh yeah, I'm at 5 out of 12. Okay. Should be good so far. Another tunnel, I presume? Oh, hello. I didn't know they could be underground. Maybe that's where the thing I'm missing is? I know, that's the one that I... Uh, the, I need to fight right now, so that's good at least. Now there's still one more critter left to find. Save point, excellent. I like which... I need a good save point. Okay. There's the missing critter. That imp. Okay, so we've got collected all the creatures that we need, so now we can make sure we just proceed with the story. Hey! I like the trophies. Where are we going next? Okay, save point, chest on the left. And I don't really need the magic with the people who don't have it, come to think of it, but still. I'll restore some of it at least. Let's see, there's one. Yeah, there. Okay. Straight up. Ooh. Can't use it. I think that's uh, like a staff for a white mage. Getting close to that point, so. There it is, okay. Uh oh. Now, hopefully, I'm in good shape for the battle to come because I remember it being either relatively simple or a massive pain in the butt, depending on how you handle it. And I'm probably gonna do it wrong the first time. What was that? I would say that's X. Oh, giant forest fire, yes. It's one way of dealing with a giant magical forest that's. Oh no! X, X death set the forest on fire! Yes, I see you. Kapo! Can I get anywhere? No, okay. I think we just get in the hole. Boop. Let's hide out here and hope the flames die down. Kapo! Healing spring? Oh. That's nice. Thanks. Kabow. I love how I was like, let's hide down here. Like, immediately you could just leave. It's not like the Moogle stops you for any appreciable length of time there. We hop down, we immediately hop right back out. Alright, so now all the covering foliage is gone. Kind of depressing, really. There's the there's the giant tree that we're going for. One, two, three chests left. Three chests left, okay. Yep, 
Yeah, and at this point, uh, the I think those um, the flying things, the worm, I think, yeah, the worm does not appear anymore in the forest, so we had to get that before burning the place down, apparently. That's morbid. Was it a regular shield before, but now it's a flame shield? Oh, oh, oh! Alright, we have mastered the samurai. Okay. Ferris, where are you going next? Where's my little list here? Alright, Ferris. Markov samurai is done. So he actually needs... She's going to go Summoner, Black Mage, Ranger, and possibly Chemist, I think. Those are the ones that left on my list for her. So... The Ranger was just for agility outcome for her final, for, final phase or stage form, whatever you want to call it. End game stuff, so that's not really a priority for me right now. Now there was Berserk, Berserker for Lena, but I just wanted to get it out of the way at the time. So I think Ferris is gonna work on mastering Black Mage. And I'm gonna go ahead and give her dual. Oh, wait. I'm gonna go back, go back and make her a thing, a um. Well, maybe she can get away with it right now. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna I'm gonna give her the ability that I want her to have shortly. If I, if this helps, and if it doesn't help in the battle to come, and I get my butt kicked, then I will come back and redo this um, and give her something else. I think that's a good idea. That's either going to make or break me in the next big fight. Okay. And it's not like she's going to need the double cast in the meantime, so. Ash, again, kind of morbid. Makes sense, but kind of morbid. The fight with a bunch of those tree things, I was really tempted to summon Ifrit. And then I was like, you know, I think this forest has been through enough of that lately. So I didn't. Alright, should be one more chest over there? Yeah, alright. Flame Tongue again. I think that might be a bad idea for this next boss. I think it's one of those where... I don't remember if this is one of those things where there's like... Because there's, there's four of them, and I don't remember if it's one where they're like individual elemental weakness and strong to the others. Like the tentacles in FF6 in the, on the machine under Figaro. I don't remember, so I'm not going to take the chance right now. After this fight, though. Probably going to be upgrading him to that. All right, here we go. Is that? The, gu the guardian tree. That's what protects the seal. Look, the branch. Let us in. I hope. What's well, a little extra deforestation among friends? All right. Uh, I think we're ready for this. If not, we'll find out real fast. All right. Yeah, I remember this part. What are those things? 
They must be whatever was sealed in here. Here they come! That was a much cooler effect than I remember it being. On the, old, on the original. This, this remaster version is pretty good looking. Okay. Alright, so this is either gonna go really well or a horrible idea. So far, so good. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay, so. It can be a good idea. But I need to damage him a little first. Because... That was bad. But, now I know it does 5,000 dish da damage. And I think I remember how much life these things have left, or close enough. So... I don't... But if they're going to counter like that every single time, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, guess what? It's what's been sealed in here. Alright. Take two. Uh, let's see what just a basic attack does. You even counter? Okay, no, you did not counter. That's good. Okay. I would really like you to do that, you summon. Uh, let's see. Now is it any AoE they counter or Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to keep Fer uh, Ferris in reserve here, because protection from physical attacks is certainly helping a whole lot here. Love the Golem Summon. Just for SNGs, I just want to see what happens. Didn't think so. Whoa! Healed him. Okay. Stop that, Calif. Okay, so yeah, there does seem to be a different elemental weaknesses for each one. Which makes sense since they all countered with different elements on me. Um, This could be a terrible idea, but I just want to see what happens. Now, what I don't know is if I hit them all with Zeninage and it does kill them, will they still counter with all that stuff, or are they just plain dead? I honestly don't know. But some of them should be getting pretty close to death range. So, in a second, I'm going to kick off his head and I'll get and see what happens. But I want Lena ready to go first. I mean, I could just do this, since they're only countering physically. This is actually going just fine like this. Okay, that hurt. But, I mean, all things considered, not that bad. That's recoverable. I, I think rather than try and get clever with it with Zeninage, um, I think I'm just going to do this route, because this seems to be working for me.
Did I could ever get an indicate. Okay, you're fr you're a fire, you say. Never mind. I thought I figured something there, but apparently not. Alright, well now there's only two of them left. Now let's try it. Okay. So that helps sort of short shortcut that a little bit. But yeah, it's a good idea, but um, I thought I was going to get a little more damage out of it than that. And I was a couple thousand shy, because I think they've got 7,000 something, so... Such efficient work, as if anything less could be expected of the bearers of the crystal's power. Well done! You've destroyed the seals. I should thank you for saving me the trouble. <laughs> Ex death. The seals broken by the four warriors meant to protect them. <laughs> How ironic! Oh no! What? They they were crystals. The crystals that bound me for so long. Now their power is mine. Bow down before my crystals and my power. Well, that sucks. I hate it when bad guys outsmart us. My heart is pounding. Could something have happened to Grandpa? Kippo. What? They're in the forest of Moor. Come on, let's go. And I would just like to point out that the forest of Moor is completely surrounded by mountains. And yet... The Windrake gets there when she's flying it. When it's just us flying around, can't cross the mountains, can we? Time for your viscera to see the light of day. Now die! Bonk. Grandpa! Oh no! Bart, Slena, Ferris! Crow, ex death is. Don't worry, he won't be bothering us for a while. Oh. Maybe he will. Impudent little fool. Uh oh. H hey, what, what are you. Die! Now, if I remember anything, if I've learned anything from Final Fantasies, it's that you don't mess the family members of someone in the main party. Good, good, Grandpa. Cry. Because power of love and family and such, way more powerful than any of the other stuff that happens in these games. So certain you want to keep moving, Gallop? Try to dispel this power, and your precious crystals will shatter! Growl! The Flaming Gallop! Next death.
Oh, he's not on fire anymore. Well, this fight was a little one-sided, wasn't it? But wait, there's more! We get to tell him. Hey, cool music. Is this X Death like battle main battle theme? Hey, cool. So you just sort of do this for a little while. Take this. Didn't work. Now I'll show you my true power. Prepare yourself for the afterlife. I mean, he's already at zero health. What more are you going to do to him? Bit of a preview here of the spells we haven't gotten yet. Still kicking. Or stabbing, really. Why? Why won't you die? Takes a lot more than that for me to kick the bucket. I'll destroy you, X-Death. Even if it means I have to take you to the afterlife myself. Dodge. Fool, all the anger and hatred in existence would never be enough to defeat me. I'm not fighting with anger, I'm fighting with the love of my granddaughter. This isn't anger or hatred. See, told you. Then, what is it? Okay, he just sort of sucks in the crystals. Weird, but okay. Bye! Grandpa! Gallif! Grandpa! Gallif! Gallif! I think he knows his name. Hold on. We can... Cast a revive spell. Give him a hit phoenix down. There are options here. No good. Too late. For me. Gallif, don't talk like that. Gallif! Get up, you old bat. Quit playing around. This isn't funny. Wake up! Wake up, please! Bart's. Lena. Varys. My dear Kryle. Just destroy X Death. Destroy him. Grandpa! No, you can't die! You can't! Gallif. Kiraga! You're not my white mage, dude. Just saying. Please! Raise! See? Better try. Open your eyes. Phoenix down. Elixir! Nothing's working. Don't be wasting my elixir's fares. So he was killed by plot armor. Gallus' flame has flickered out. Grandpa! No! No, you can't leave me! You can't die! Grandpa's calling. Bro. Grandpa, uh, are you there?
guardian tree which has protected the crystals for a thousand years is lending me its power to speak to you. I don't have long. I want to give you my strength. Come on, Kryle, don't cry. Stand with Bart's and the others. Be strong and fight. No, I don't want to. Come back, don't leave me alone. You know I can't do that. But you're not alone, Kryl. You understand that, don't you? So Kryl receives all of Galif's abilities and experience and all that other whatnot stuff, so... It did not go to waste. Grandpa, I feel warm. I feel you here with me. I'll be in your heart. Always. Grandpa, I understand. Huh? X death is. Cryo! Bart's, Lena Ferris, I'll fight along with you. Cryo. Grandpa told me that X-Death is trying to destroy the crystals. We've got to hurry to X-Death's castle. The Windrake! What's up, dude? Okay. Well, powers have been bequeathed, apparently. And if we look at... Well, just to fly around a little bit here, there should be now be an opening in the mountains that was not there before. So that's how the Windrake got in and out. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so the forest is here. And poor Galif. I don't remember... It's like, I mean, because in Final Fantasy IV, I, I don't remember... I only played two once, and I had not played three as of this time, and I don't remember it super well. So in Final Fantasy IV, probably the biggest problem is that everybody who you think dies, and spoilers by the way, so um, if you've never played it and you intend to, almost every single character who you think dies in Final Fantasy IV is actually just fine and comes back. The only one who really dies that you grow emotionally attached to in any way is Tella the Sage, hence my reference to Tella earlier versus Xdeath. And I, it, it's like, the, but there's something like on this one, but it's a four character. You have in Final Fantasy IV, you have people coming in and out of your party all the time, and the fact that several of them supposedly die really just sort of takes away some of the emotional impact of when one of them disappears for a while, because you're like, oh wait, they're back. But Tella actually does die, and in a spe rather spectacular fashion. This is a four-party game, you're a four-character game. You only have the four. You've always had the four, so you're back to like you know Final Fantasy One, where you have your static four characters, and you've had them the whole game. And for suddenly one of them to just snuff out, I thought that was a brilliant move on their part. That leaves you for a moment like, Ugh! dude. Because it's not like, you know, oh, we'll just bring him back or whatever. He's gone. And the fact that Krile is there to pick up the mantle and inherits all his powers is the saving grace. And you've really... He, she has slightly different base stats than Galif, but not appreciably different once you change jobs and all that other stuff. So it's not really that big a difference to have her swap out. But for that moment there, the first time you play it, if you're not expecting it, you're like, what the hell? They just killed one of my characters. It's it's not like I'm going to go pick up another temporary character to replace it somewhere. So it was an interesting move on their part. I, I've always really appreciated that they did that. And so for that little bit of time there, you're like, what the hell is going to happen now? 
Fortunately, they answer it very quickly and you don't have to go like, you know, half an hour of gameplay with only three people in your party wondering what's going to happen. So, but anyway, I think that's going to be where we're going to end it. Uh, next time we have got to do some, a uh, little bit of exploration. I think we're headed over to X Death's Castle is the next big area. There's just a little bit of cleanup to do here first. Really looking at the map, we've gone everywhere else of any importance. So we traipsed all across that north, the north central area of that continent all the way up to the Mughal Forest across the desert. We've explored all of Gallus continent. We just hit the continent on the far west there. So Exodus Castle is really the only thing left to do on this con in this area. So we will be heading there next, I believe next time. I'm pretty sure that's really the next thing, but there's cleanup. There's a cave next to the big bridge that had some uh, some stuff in it that, that I avoided before, but we're going to go check that out. And I think at that point, it'll just be time to head into X-Death Castle and go for what I'm sure will be the final confrontation. So anyway, join me next time to find out what happens. And hope everybody's having a great day. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're not yet. And bye.